Okay, so in relation to the recommendations, we're just going to move to recommendations now, uh, which are, sorry, my apologies, they're on page 10 of your agenda. Um, if I could have a mover from A to D, uh, please. Nigel, happy to uh, move that? Cappy? Nigel, any um, comment? No? Uh, any debate? Nope. Um, right response? Nope. Wait. Okay, that's cool. Um, so all those in favour? Aye. All right, that's great. That's passed. Uh, moving on to um, recommendation E. Do I have uh, any one caring to nominate uh, anyone? Nigel? I'll nominate the chair. Oh, well, thank you very much. What a surprise. Yeah. Discussed in private, uh, public excluded. That, do I have a seconder for that? Yeah. Um, thank you very much. Uh, Nigel, do you care to uh, speak to that at all? Well, I prepared a 10-minute speech that you gave me earlier. To read. <laughs> oh, Should I read um, that? Yeah, that fits within time. <laughs> I'll wait there. Lovely. Thank you. Any other comment? Uh, Mia Holborough? I'd just I'd like things to be tidy with recommendations. So we're crossing out one member from the Social Sustainability Subcommittee and we're putting Councillor Martin Halliday in the place of those words. Is that what we're moving and seconding? Uh, nominate one member of this, well, uh, yes, we can reword that. Yeah, it's just so we're clear. What, nope, that's, what, um, what's the, what's the um, recommendation, what's the motion that we're moving? Uh, so we are going to modify, well. Okay, so that's what you're moving, Nigel? Yeah. Happy to move that? Kathy, happy to second that? Okay, all those in favour? Aye. That's um, passed. Thank you very much. Appreciate the confidence. And uh, Rob, I'll certainly be keeping you in the loop. Oh, thank you. <laughs> um, okay. Um, point of order. That's our housing. Any point other of order. comments in the housing? Sorry, point Jackie? Of, point of order. Um, I'm just noticing um, it really lacks attitude to the counting of votes in this meeting, and it, it's just it's an, ob an observation. Sorry, Jake, I just clarify. No, an absence of what? Uh, um, a, a very lapsed attitude to the counting of actual votes in the did room. Anyone, did anyone go into the negative? I'm just noticing, and it's been from the whole meeting, that when it's like someone takes a vote, is it... You know, is this moved, is this seconded? All those in favour, aye. And there's a few voices say aye. And I think, please. Jackie, um, uh, hearing what you're saying, Jackie, actually, um, each motion that we've moved today, I've actually asked uh, whether there is a um, person wants to speak to a motion. I've asked whether there's been to be comments on that, and I've asked yeah. whether there was any response um, as well. Uh, I would take more notice with regards to the vote count if there was a negative, but there hasn't been. Uh, and... Um, um, and negative in regards to um, our approach has been a little bit more relaxed because we are a working group committee rather than uh, a, oh, I'm not going to say serious decision, but we're not the strategy and ops space and we're not the council space. Uh, tends to have been the um, approach we've taken over the last little while, um, which, well, sorry, you haven't been here for a majority of that mm. um, as such. So. Uh, apologies if that's taking you a little bit by surprise, and I will um, uh, in future um, be a bit more specific uh, in that space. But thank, thank you for bringing it to my attention. Yeah, yeah thank you. Um, perhaps the asking of all those in favour and all those against would be would suffice. Thank you, Jackie. Okay, you're welcome. So that motion's passed, uh, and um, thank you very much to, uh, to council officers. Okay, so we're going to move back now to uh, number seven, uh, which is members' business. Um, any point A, any leaves of absence? McCusy? Thanks for coming, Sophie. No? Okay. Any matters of an urgent nature? None have been brought to my attention as such, so I'm assuming there aren't any. Correct? Okay. Um, 
members of business. Is there anyone, anything that anyone would like to potentially bring up to the table that we have? Not that we've done public excluded. As such, no. Okay. I just want to take the opportunity to actually make a quick comment about that, um, the health advisory group. And um, I, I felt, well, I didn't feel like I was put, throwing anybody under the bus, but at the same time, um, whether the same question could be asked of this committee as I asked of those groups. And that is in terms of a broader public advocacy role. And I know quite often that sort of stuff would fall to the, the mayor, might have a view about Cavity's position on these things, but whether or not this committee does, wants to make a comment about housing, you know, um, as it impacts. Because the, the more sort of silent everybody is, the more the steamroller just keeps shaking mm. over everybody, right? And so, and I wonder, we discuss quite often areas where there should be significant pushback. Um, and there probably is, but but do we feel, can you, again, the same question, do we feel as a committee constrained from having a broader voice, or should that be something, a discussion between the chair and the mayor? No, no, I'm quite happy to have an open discussion in that space. Um, there's no, nothing secret squirrel. Um, I think um, I, I've described this group as a working horse committee uh, with regards to things, and we've brought the um, subgroups into that, and really... The, all we're making as recommendations is that these things pass through um, on their way to either the council meeting or the um, strategy um, and operational uh, strategy and growth um, committee as such. So I don't think there's any reason why we can't, uh, as the stuff's putting through, um, put some recommendations, uh, or, or sorry, not recommendations, more notes or um, uh, bringing to the attention of as such. After saying that, what I would also note is that um, we've got council officers here who are taking notes as we go. And part of the um, strategy, if you like, that we have has been aligning the work that we're doing in such a way that we can approach ministers and, uh, and uh, as such with regards to things. And I think what we're hearing here as well is that that's already happening. And we can push back to make a statement, and I would say that that would happen at committees above us um, with regards to things. But I'm personally very happy that the relationship building that we are doing that will benefit us as a community as we move forward um, is happening at quite a rapid pace. And I think um, where this discussion was maybe 12 months ago uh, to where we are now, um, and I'll use the example that the Ministry of Housing and Urban Development is talking to our housing team with regards to their approach into local government. Um, you know, that, that to me is pretty significant. Um, and um, that comes to the networking that the um, th that, that team has been doing with the opportunities that they've had as yeah. such. So I'm seeing, and happy to um, have further comment from us, I'm seeing council officers stepping into those spaces, being supported in those spaces. Yeah. And um, I think we'll see the flow through. And now that we've landed our long-term plan, and correct me if I'm wrong, Mayor, Mayor Holborough, the idea has been to, we've been getting a lot of ducks in line, if you like, now that we're into the delivery stage of that long-term plan. Uh, that we may see some speeding up or a lot more um, elevation of those conversations as we start to see how we're going to start delivering things. Uh, but you know, taking taking from uh, the Capital Health Advisory Group the um, commentary there, it's not necessarily just council that um, that there is funding opportunities for. Uh, there are other ones as well. But with regards to policy, um, yeah, I, I guess as we build those relationships and we perhaps have a we're putting a more personal relationship or a, a stronger relationship in the central government, that's when we can potentially influence those scenarios because I'm not one that's just goes, let's just throw stones for the sake of doing it. Um, what can we get as a result out of that? I think it's quite important as well. Not saying that we shouldn't be doing that advocacy, it's just doing it in a way that's perhaps going to be um, of benefit uh, um, um, as such rather than being too broad. Otherwise, we just join a general mass of noise back here rather than being specific on what we want to achieve as an outcome. <laughs> but you know, the thing that I, <clears throat> well, I won't. I, I'm, I'm not likely to be constrained. Um, <laughs> yeah, no, one no. day, obviously. Um, but uh, and I do acknowledge the work that Chris and others are doing in their, you know, their relationship building with the people that I want to identify as lunatics for yep. the most part. Um, and so I understand that. 
difficulty. But so again, it's about not being constrained. So the relationship that that our staff uh, have, and, and and a really positive relationship, I have to say. Um, and but but uh, as a politician, uh, I take a the broader role is that the lunatics are in charge of the asylum, and I want to be pointing that out at every opportunity, and will continue to do so. But as long as I'm, but it's not trembling on what you're doing. I just wanted to make that clear because nobody should be constrained from having an, an honest and forthright opinion. I agree, you know, 100%. It's, it's, yeah, it's just that. But yep. you know, but I'm not saying don't keep working with these. With you have to keep working. Right? Oh, look and. Taking on board what you're saying, Nigel, I mean, there is aspects that work within the organisation. There's aspects that works in the political arena, yeah. you know, and our space is that political arena with regards to that. I prefer that we are, well, and it's not up to me to say how we'll do anything because um, each person is elected, is elected as an individual um, as such. You know, we're not a, we're not Labour, we're not national. I mean, it's, that's been the uh, issue, say, down in Wellington with regards to central politics getting involved in local politics, which to me is just an absolute nightmare. Uh, with regards to things. After saying that, you know, we want to try and do it as constructively as possible, um, but there's nothing that's but um, unrestrained constructiveness, um, shall, we, shall, we, <laughs> uh, shall we say, as well. And there'll be positions that we'll take as a council, which the Mayor will represent, and there will, might be positions in the areas that we work for that we may represent as well uh, as part of our day-to-day -day activity, as long as we're on the same page moving forward, uh, which is generally a good outcome for our communities, um, then we certainly will have my support moving forward. Um, as such. Any other comments in general? Can it? Oh, no. <laughs> okay. Rightio. So we don't, uh, it's members' business. We don't have to do anything specific on members' business. No. Nope. Uh, eight. No updates. Crikey, Charlie. I think we're done. Confirmation of minutes. Sorry. Turn the page over. <laughs> it's always a good. Uh, you need to put a PTO down there. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Larry. Hmm? Lewis, you want to? Yep, sure. Uh, so confirmation of minutes. Um, so I'm assuming everyone, well, I'm, I'd like to assume everyone's read the minutes. Uh, any any points on the minutes at all? Aye. So moved. Uh, do I have a seconder? All those in favour? All those against? Okay, that motion's moved. Um, what's this 10.1? Uh, also, oh, that's confirmation of minutes. All right, sorry. It's <coughs> like public exclude is sometimes quite good. Um, and um, closing card of Kia, Mia Holbera, you'd like to um, talk to that? Kia to Namanaki Tanga Kironga Ia Tato Katoa, Kia Hua Ai Te Ma Kihi Kihi E Kiana, Kia Toi Te Kupu, Kia Toi Te Reo, Kia Toi Te Wairua, Kia Toi Te Mauri, Ki Roto Ia Ma Te Mahi Katoa I Tene Rā. And just to finish that off, may blessings be upon us all and our business be successful so that our words endure and our language endures. May the spirit be strong, may Māori be settled and in balance. Among the activities we will do today, join, gather and unite forward together. I'd just like to thank everyone for their participation today. I think it was an excellent meeting. Fantastic hearing from our uh, different groups that are doing an awesome job uh, in the community. And uh, yep, and uh, we'll see you in six weeks. Yeah. Woohoo! <laughs> yeah.